welcome to the new rules topic let's go into it we'll click on new rules and we will be taken to the new rules tab sheet here you can see that I have attached a screenshot of the new formatting rule dialog box which appear from here new rules you'll see that this dialog box I have used it as a screenshot and I have mentioned that the first five topics one two three four five are covered in the part one and the part two of the conditional formatting now we will be working on a user formula to determine which cells to format so let's let's take a scenario I have a TV store and have seven salesperson at month end I pay bonus to salesperson based on who sold the most obsolete TV model of the month and here I type the obsolete model of the month and this is my data set you can see it contains the day the salesperson name and the model sold so if I enter in this D15 cell say Sony you'll find that all those row containing the Sony are highlighted if I change the from Sony to say Samsung all those rows containing the Samsung TV model are highlighted so we'll be learning how do we set this rule in the first let us remove the rule so that I can show you that how to set these rules clear rules from entire sheet you will see that if I now enter Sony no rows are highlighted so it's good to work out now we click on conditional formatting new rules we click on user formula to determine which cells to format and format values where this formula is true it's a very simple formula we click on the cell D15 and this cell is absolute by absolute I mean that the dollar sign is before the column and the row this fixes the cell number so we want this cell to be fixed and we enter equal to cell number D18 I want column D to be fixed and I want rows to be relative but in this you can see that dollar sign is before the column and the row so this would also be absolute or the fix which I don't want so to remove to make the rows relative we will remove the dollar sign and I click on delete and I next go to the format and I want the font to appear in deep orange and I want some filling in the rows say I want uh, this yellow color and I click on OK I click on OK again now we will go to the conditional formatting once again and we'll go to the manage rule section here we will click on this up, uh, rule applies to we will be selecting the entire table where we want this rule to up, be applied so with the help of mouse cursor or shift down arrow key I select the entire table and I hit enter and next I click on apply I click on OK you will see that right now there are rows which contains you know different TV models let's see what wrong happened we'll go to the manage rules again and D15 see here is the error we fixed the cell D21 but it somehow automatically changed it to the cell number D21 no we don't want that we want this to start from the cell number D18 because from here our data starts so we will double click we will click on this and we will change this to 21 to 18 and we click on OK rest like we want this table which starts from cell number B18 and ends at D47 this is OK and we have fixed this table with the dollar sign before the row and the before the column now will click on apply and the rule will be applied and we click on OK see now if I change the cell to LG from Sony you will see that all those rows entire row 
gets highlighted. Let's enter Onida. Yes, there is. There are two. Uh, there is only one salesperson who has sold the Onida. So based on this scenario, the bonus will go to the Rick. So this is how the manage rule. This is how the new rule works.